Hey, it's TomScarHawk11 with another Animal Crossing video. Today I have it set to nighttime for my build of a Japanese hot spring. So this is just past the residential neighborhood that I've shown before. Here we have Porsche's house, the convenience store. So right past that you go into more of an old neighborhood. Here we have an old bus stop. And then the hot spring. I would have liked to make this more of a full inn, but I didn't have the space for that, so I mostly just made it a facade, and then it goes right into the changing rooms. So we got simple panels for all the walls and windows here. I used cartoonist sets put on top of the floating blocks to make it look like more of a uniform roof using the same custom design on the cartoonist set as the stalls so it looks a bit more matching. It's not perfect but from a distance it looks like it's part of the same roof at least. I probably should have used three more cartoonist sets but I didn't want to overload the area of items because my island is already a bit laggy from so many items. So it's a bit hard to see, but in the changing rooms, I have the walls lined with Karo. I don't remember how to pronounce the whole rest of the long name of that item, but the Sanrio wall item with the frog. And there's a little basket with towels in there, but it's kind of difficult to see. Maybe if I sit down. Yeah, now you can see it better. So I just have that on one side of the changing rooms. Since it's already hard enough to see, it didn't really make sense to put it in both. But you just walk from the outside right into one of the changing rooms, then into the main hot spring area. So this isn't supposed to be the Swede Hot Spring from Xenoblade 2 in particular, but that is what I referenced for building it. So aesthetically, it doesn't really have anything in common with it, but that's just what I used as reference for building the whole changing room section. Since I didn't have the space to make a full split hot spring, And I wanted to show this during cherry blossom season because it looks very fitting, especially since I lined the whole area back there with pink flowers because I think when I first built this, it was already in Sakura season, so I wanted to have the flowers fitting with that. It just doesn't work as well when it's not Sakura season. So it looks best during Sakura season. It also looks really nice during autumn when the trees are all red. That's another time that it looks really good. And then I'll also just show this little alleyway to the side of it. So in this alleyway we have a few old traditional style Japanese buildings and to go along with the hot spring. This one in particular I really like. I would have liked enough space to have this one be built the same way. Maybe I could still do that if I moved the tree forward. But I also didn't want them to be too identical either, so I'm not really sure what I should do with that. If I should add another storefront item to make both of these the same style build. And then over this way leads over to Outlook Park. I'll be showing Outlook Park again very soon because I'm going to go over all the Xenoblade areas again with Cherry Blossom Season right after recording this, but it will be a couple weeks before that video goes up. Anyway, if you watch to the end, comment Blossom Dance down below. If you want to see all my other Animal Crossing builds, then check out the playlist that's linked on screen now. And see you next time!